Hey guys, your inner chakras. <clears throat> welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, we are doing, what are we doing? Unsent text messages. So these are messages from your person. You know how you be typing out a message and for whatever reason, you don't send it. So these are their unsent text messages, guys. I ran around last night with my head cut off and I was all up in your person's business and I snapped couple of pictures out of their phones no judgment here let me do my job for you right so I just dispersed my energy last night all over the place and I was snapping away guys if you are new here you are welcome happy Saturday guys don't forget if this is not your reading it's not your reading um, if it don't fit you must acquit and leave that on the table and with that guys I'm gonna show you the messages that I retrieved last night last night and um, don't let anyone know that I was all up in their phones right well somebody's happy about you they said thanks for being in my life thanks for being in my life somebody likes you there let me turn my little light on my other light anyway they said, thank you for being in my life. Ooh, they jumping, jumping, jumping. You are my impossible love. Okay, so they're saying you're my impossible love for some of you. Thanks for being in my life. For others of you, you are my impossible love. And for some of you, it's both, right? It's like, it's just impossible. It's all, all those things. Holy Spirit, what else was your person saying last night? Well... I don't know when they wrote these texts out, but that's when I got, that's when I got the message. I was just snapping away. I'm in a relationship, but I'm feeling you. Ooh, now this person here is torn. They said, I hate you, F you. And F U C K U. You can read it for yourself. This is how they typed it out. Look at the phones, guys. Look at the phone. They said, I hate you, F you, and then F you, right? Whew. So some of them are happy to have you, and then others are just it's, it's giving you the bird. Okay. All right, guys. This is the last one. What else we get? You have me confused with someone else. Okay, so these are two different types of energies. Okay, over here, they're in love, they're happy. Thanks for being in my life, you are my impossible love. But then they said, I'm in a relationship, but I'm feeling you. We're gonna slide that there, right? This could be three different energies, I'm gonna break them all down, right? And then here, it's I hate you, F you, F you, twice. The first time it was just the F exclamation point, and then the, the the last time they spelled it out. And then they say, you have me confused with somebody else. Like, I'm not the one. Like, da da da. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, guys. Let's go into it with the looking glass. So I'm going to separate these as three different readings. This one here, thanks for being in my life. You are my impossible love. The second reading is going to be, I'm in a relationship, but I'm feeling you, which could still be this person here. And possibly this person as well, but we'll see. Or these people as well, it's more than one. And then over here, that's the I hate you, F you. You got me confused with somebody else. Like, I'm not the one, right? All right, Holy Spirit, what is going on with the thank you for being in my life? You are my impossible love energy. Guys, this is the looking glass, so we're going a little deeper. Oh. Oh. Wedding rings, wedding promises, eternal love, marriage, union, everlasting love. So somebody could possibly see themselves marrying you, blah, 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 blah. But this person here could also have addictions. Uh, they could be codependent. They could be obsessed with you, very possessive, controlling, and or substance abuse. So they love you, but they do have some addictions going on, possibly. Not for all of you guys. Don't claim it, you know. All right, Spirit, clarify I'm in a relationship, but I'm feeling you. What's going on here? All 
tape recorder. They're overthinking, they're replaying events in their head. Uh, it's like conditioning over and over and over again. So they're just, they're in a relationship, but they could be overthinking things. They could keep replaying things in their heads. Maybe y'all hung out a few times and they just replaying everything, right? They're replaying everything. They could be replaying the time with you or the time with their current relationship that they're in here. And then we have talking. It says text, call, email. They're definitely interested in you. Uh, they're waiting for your messages to arrive, etc., etc., stuff like that. So this person likes you in in the middle here. They're just in another connection. Spirit, clarify the. I hate you right now. I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much. How does she say that? I hate you. I hate you so much right now. I think that was Khalees. All right, this is the Grim Reaper. They did say F you twice, and you got me confused with someone else. So you got the Grim Reaper. You got the Grim Reaper. Ending a relationship, done, no second chances, and then this is growth, right? And then we have sweet kisses, adoring, loving, receiving, and giving affection, falling in love. So I don't know if they feel like that you're giving sweet kisses to someone else or... You're receiving kisses from someone else, giving affection to and from someone else. They think you're falling in love with someone else. So they're like, look, they're not going to play this game with you. It's over because you out here sucking face with somebody else, right? Basically, that's what popped in my head. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to go back over here to relationship number one. The one who's thinking about you could possibly be thinking about marrying you. Um, they could have some addictions, some type of substance abuse. They could be codependent. They could be obsessed, possessive, controlling, all of those things. Spirit, what's going on with relationship number one? This is a king of pentacles. So they have a good job, good money, good that, whatever, whatever. And three of wands. Could they be walking away from something? They could be walking away from a situation or they could be coming towards you. So not a wise energy. This person, not a wise in reverse, they could have been cheated on by somebody. And coming to you, walking away from a situation here. They could have been cheated on. Yeah, they're taking their love back from this person. King of Cups in reverse. No more love for whoever they were with. And then this is the devil. They're walking away from the devil. Or the devil here can also be their addictions as well. Something didn't work. So they're not putting in the work anymore in some connection. Um... Maybe they got cheated on or something. Holy Spirit, clarify Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they're moving on. So, they're moving on from another connection, guys. Uh, they could have been cheated on. They faced their judgment. They've been through judgment. Yeah, they're ending something. Ten of Cups in reverse. So this person is coming to you after an ending. And they're not in hangman. So they're definitely not putting in work anymore. This person was cheated on, but now they're coming to you. Basically, in a nutshell. Holy Spirit, clarify this second connection here. I'm in a relationship, but they're feeling you right now. Uh, thinking about you, waiting on your texts, your calls, etc., etc. This person is up in their head. Nine of Swords energy. They're up in their head. Have a lot on their mind. They do want new beginnings. Possibly with you, but they could be up in their head about another connection. They could be up in their head about another connection here as well. Uh, they could be replaying things in their mind about that connection or what they're going to do about this new connection. So they're ending things with the lovers here. Lovers in reverse. 
So they're definitely ending a connection. They want something new with you. They're probably not standing in their power right now. They're probably just being hopeful, wishing, thinking. This is Ten of Swords in Reverse. I don't know if... See, like they ended things here. They could have found out... Maybe they found out that their person had another lover, right? And then they went back to this person with the Ten of Swords in Reverse. But they do want new beginnings, but they're playing a game here. Yeah, see? They're not standing in their power. So they want new beginnings in their life, but they're not offering you this new love, this page of cups. But they're definitely thinking about you. But in the relationship that they're currently in, it seems like their person cheated on them. It could also be this person here. But it seems like their person cheated on them and they just keep replaying the events over and over and over in their head, right? Um, but they do enjoy getting the text and all that stuff from you and they're thinking about you and thinking about the possible new beginnings. But it looks like they went back to their person that cheated on them. Yeah, they did. They went back to them. Knight of Swords in reverse. They did something quick. They went back to them without thinking. And they're swimming away to calmer water. So it seems like they're eventually going to walk away possibly. But they're not offering you love right now. They do want new beginnings. But they did jump back into this connection again. Spirit clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they went back and then they walked away again. So they did go back to their person, but then they're walking away again. They're swimming away to calmer waters. So they're possibly going to come to you for a new beginning. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Wands. Yeah, they have no regrets. So they're definitely moving on, guys. So that person is coming. They're trying. They're just going back and forth with whoever they was with. Holy Spirit, clarify the Grim Reaper here, these endings, the FU cards, and being confused with someone else, right? Holy Spirit. They may think that you've changed. So they're definitely ending things. World card is in reverse. So they're ending things with you. They feel like you're giving love to someone else, offering your love to someone else. Uh, that you could be giving and sharing to someone else with the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, you made a decision. Maybe maybe you walked away from them or they're making that decision to walk away. They're definitely standing in their power here. Yeah, Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment. They think you have someone else. They think you moved on, that you found balance, you found your emotional fulfillment, your dream come true. They're pissed. You probably ended things with this person and they're basically saying they hate you. Yeah, there's no new beginning. So I don't know what they did to you, but you you certainly left them. So I don't know if you were trying to play, play the game with them, but they're angry. Spirit, clarify this Grim Reaper. They're pissed. Yeah, there's no victory here. That connection didn't go anywhere. Page of Swords in reverse. Could have been some deception. I don't know if you deceived them or they deceived you. I think they feel like you deceived them and that you went on to someone else. Your emotional fulfillment with no new beginnings. So they, they definitely said no new beginnings. They're pissed at you. Spirit, clarify you have me confused with someone else. Queen of Cups. Wow. So you must be offering your love to someone else, I guess. And you're standing in your strength. You are. you standing in your strength. You're looking at this one, then I. So, yeah, they're mad at you. That's why they're saying, I hate you, F you, F you, because you moved on. Wow. Spirit, clarify the food card in reverse. Yeah, you dropping your burgers with this one. So you're fine. You're fine with the F you. You're taking that like, all right, yeah, okay, like it is what it is. Because it looks like you're happy over here. <laughs> it looks like you're happy with whoever you're with. Spirit, Nine of Cups. 
Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. So they cheated on you first. They cheated on you. Looks like you probably met someone else that's a little more balanced and this and that. You're giving your love to someone else. You're standing in your strength. So that's why they're giving you the middle finger. That's why they're giving you the bird. All right, guys. Three readings in one. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. But if you want to, if you want to put them all together, you can. But it really sounds like three different readings. All right, guys. Peace.